Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Ali Mirz and uh, today I will demonstrate the effects of pressure difference. Before we begin, I would like to ask you all a question. Uh, for example, you were given a choice between sitting in a bus that is full of people, like there is not even place to stand, and there is another bus that has only a few people in it, and you can sit easily in there. So, which one will you go for? Obviously, the empty one because it is more comfortable. So, this is also a, uh, how nature acts and many processes work that way as concentration goes downwards from higher concentration to lower concentration. Uh, examples are osmosis and diffusion. And now I will show you what pressure difference is. So, in the experiment, we will Take a candle, place it in a container and put an inverted glass on it. We, the candle will already be lit and uh, then we pour some water in it. And uh, the candle is made of paraffin, you see. So, the, at initial stage, the air will be at the same pressure as the air outside the glass. So, when the reaction begins, the paraffin, the candle, it will react with oxygen and in turn carbon dioxide and water will be produced. However, the modes of carbon dioxide produced will be lower as compared to the mode of oxygen. So, obviously, the volume will decrease, and uh, as volume decreases, pressure is directly proportional to volume. No, sorry. Pressure is inversely proportional to volume, and uh, as pressure increases, volume decreases. And because of the pressure difference, water will begin to rise up, and uh, water level will rise in the glass and decrease in the container, obviously. So, that will be. So, as the pressure inside is lower than outside, obviously the water will be forced to be on inside, and that's it. That's what pressure difference does. Uh, I'm sure you have already. That's about the equation PV is equal to NRP. If you forget about these factors, then P will be. Inversely proportional to V. This proves pressure is inversely proportional to V. So that's it, I guess it summarizes for you. Okay, so now we are going to display the effects of pressure as we displayed earlier. Now, I am lighting up the candle and I will place it over the plate or container or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's let it. Let it stay like this for a while. Now I will invert this bottle over it. Okay, slow and steady. Don't extinguish. Okay. Now, as you can see, the water level in the bottle is rising slowly, but it is rising. This is because of the pressure difference, because the volume of gas inside the bottle has become lower than earlier, and thus the water level is rising. So that's it. That's how we can display it practically. Thank you.